Ocala, Florida. It's just a little after 5.30. Get our pre-trip done. Just about ready to head over to the land. A little over an hour away. Almost basically just straight east from where we are. Uh, pick up our next load. Proceed to the highlighted route. And grab that load. We're going to take that straight up to uh, to Georgia today. Find a place to park for the weekend and deliver on Monday. So basically, a little over 300, about 400 miles a day. You know, not too bad. Yeah, yeah it's about 400 miles. Uh, I mean, really, you know, if they would accept the load today, that'd be the better thing, but, you know. Alright, here we are, just about 7 o'clock. We're on the Black Bear Scenic Byway in Florida. State Route 40, going east. We're heading over to DeLand, Florida. Gotta go pick up our load over there about half an hour approximately. Gonna have to tarp it. We're taking that up to Fort Valley, Georgia. This is the extent of our load. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, yeah, super easy. Let's look at all the speeders and the lawbreakers we have. Now they have a chance to pass me. Let's see how many we get. Well, the first one is a state law enforcement breaking the law by speeding. So right there, the very first person to screw it up is a lawbreaker from the government. Two, three, four. Five. Six. And every one of these people tailgating as well, you know, not only speeding, tailgating. This idiot can't read signs. You know, it's like, <laughs> I gotta get around, I gotta get around, I gotta get around it. How dare they make me do the speed limit? Ah, I love it. 
and they worry about truck drivers. It's like that old expression. Character is what you are when you're alone in the dark. what normal people in the world call swampland or marshland. It's almost 50% or more of water. But this is considered a prairie location here in Florida. Past a sign that said the words prairie. Now, prairie to me is grassland, virtually no trees, and very little water. I don't think this is a prairie. I think uh, whoever labeled this as a prairie needs to get themselves a dictionary and read a, you know, really, you know, read the words. All right, pilot. We're in the laundry room. Trash can, dirt all around the trash can, all over the floor. This was on the folding table. I had to move it because the employee wouldn't. The floor is filthy dirty. Is this a storage room or is this the laundry? You know, they have a place to, to store all the stuff, yet they're storing it in the public laundry and leaving it out where people can't use the washing machines and the dryers and use the folding table. This is unacceptable. This is not what I expect from a pilot flying J. What to do on a 34? Well, I still need to finish cleaning the inside of the truck. Put away a few dishes. Put away my clean clothes. And really not much more of anything else except sit all day Sunday, which is just about five minutes to 10 right now. I'm gonna go for a walk, get a little exercise. Go down to uh, down to Walmart here. All right. After a quick bathroom break, now we get a little walk back to the truck stop. So not a whole lot to see, except the same way back again. So we got a loaf of bread for our tuna fish sandwiches, egg sandwiches, whatnot. So 
So back to the truck. Don't anticipate any more uh, crying and complaining on the way back. Get back in there. Had a nice little walk. Got a little bit of exercise today. For the rest of the day, just clean, put stuff away, organize, tidy up, and wait till about six o'clock tomorrow when we get up. Get ourselves ready for the day. And go make our delivery, finally. Even though we probably could have made it you know, yesterday, 